Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the HAL DLL error in Windows XP. For this, we're going to need a Windows XP CD. Also, you need to change the boot options in the BIOS. I have a link in the description box that teaches you how to change the boot sequence so you're able to boot from the CD. So place the disk in the drive and reboot the computer. You're going to see this. Press any key to boot from CD. Press enter key. And you'll boot from the disk. This is going to load up. I'm going to fast forward this. Perfect. Now here, press R to go into the recovery console. Perfect. Now I'm going to press 1 to go into my drive C, Windows. It might be different if you have many partitions. Just make sure you go into drive where the Windows is installed. Here type the administrator password if you have one. I don't have one so I'm just gonna press enter. Then type CD space system32 to go into the system32 directory. Type map MAP and press enter so you would know what drive letter is your CD-ROM where you have your Windows XP CD now type expand space d colon backslash i386 backslash h a l dot d l underscore click enter and this will copy the files back to its directory you will probably be prompted to overwrite make sure you click on y yes to overwrite and then type exit and press enter to restart your computer remove the disk from the drive and your your windows will be up and running okay this was the first method of fixing HAL DLL error for this second method I have installed more programs so you will see that this process is not a reinstallation of Windows XP. A reinstallation of Windows XP will wipe out all my programs and leave a fresh copy of Windows. So I have installed dummy programs so you will see that at the end of the process I will still have my programs running. For the second method you would need an exact copy of the operating system that is running on your PC. For example if you're using Windows XP Professional on your PC, then you would need Windows, Windows XP Professional Disk. The same applies for Windows XP Home or Media Center. This method also fixes many Windows uh, related boot errors that many IT personnel overlook. I just deleted the uh, HAL DLL so I can show you uh, the error and I'm going to delete it from the recycle bin also. Perfect. I'm going to restart the PC. As a reminder, just wanted to show you one last time the programs that I have installed and then restart. Here is the error. The following file is missing or corrupt. HAL that DLL. Now remember, the second method doesn't only apply to HAL DLL. It applies to any error that prevent your Windows XP from booting up. Keep that in mind. Now place the disk in the drive and reboot the computer. You should see the press any key to boot from CD press the enter key. If you don't see this, I have a video tutorial on the uh, description box below that teaches you how to change the boot sequence. Now this uh, it'll take a little time so I'm gonna fast forward this. Now here instead of pressing R to go into the recovery console press the enter key not R remember press enter key to continue
Now here press F8 to agree. Now here notice that you have Microsoft Windows XP Professional. That means you need a Windows XP Professional disk. And here you can click R repair. When you press the R key to repair, Windows will automatically copy all the necessary files from the disk back to the hard drive so Windows can work properly or boot properly without running any command lines. Similar to a reinstallation of Windows XP. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. Perfect. Once it's done, it's going to reboot, similar to an installation of Windows XP, but it's not. When it reboots, remember, don't press Enter to boot from the CD. Just let it run. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. Uh, enter your uh, Windows X XP product key, click on Next, and that's all you need. that's it now remember don't press the enter key when it asks you to boot from the uh, CD again perfect like a brand new installation of Windows XP now you can remove the disk from the drive I'm going to go throughout this uh, setup fast. Click on finish. And my Windows is back up and running and my programs are here. So it was not a reinstallation. And I can double click to run the program and it's actually running. Everything is back up and running. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Older computers that brought Windows XP already installed, like Dell or Gateway, usually brings a reinstallation disk, which is actually a Windows XP installation disk. You can use that to fix the problem, just like I did. Thank you.